Hi guys, last year I presented you this IC box. I have it for a year now and it is amazing. It works perfectly since. The only downside, as I mentioned before, is if the power goes down, you will have to push the button for each hard disk when it goes up. So better have UPS. This is a very big downside. If it's unattended, do not expect the hard disk to go up. This is the reason why I'm using it mostly for backup. I have bought and I presented to you five uh, Iron Wolf disks, NAS disks, four terabytes each. I decided to put them all together in RAID. One of them it will be used, it's used as data set for ESXi and four of them I will use them as RAID, but not MD RAID, not normal RAID, RAID which you can find in Linux. I'm using ZFS for RAID. RAID Z1. So instead of 16 gigabytes for disks of 4, 4 gigabytes, you will have only 12. But before doing that, you need some buffer in between. So for that, I bought SSD. I will not use NVMe SSD, some other fancy stuff, because I do not need it. For me, normal SSD is enough. And in this way, I will see how long it will take for this one to break down because it's nothing special. It's just the cheapest. Okay, not the cheapest because I will not go that down, but it's one of the cheapest uh, SSDs you can find on the market. It's not only cheap, it looks also cheap. The only shiny thing is this sticker. The case is plastic and it it's bending very easy. I do not care much about the case. The only important thing is to be reliable. We'll see. Since I'm using it as cash, probably it will go down in less than a year, but it has a chance to prove me wrong. And because I'm using it via USB, I bought also this hexagon adapter. It has a very nice case, which I will not use, but I bought it because the adapter is uh, cased. You can use it separately. You just attach the disc, attach the cable, and that's it. To not uh, scatter them around there in the server rack, I bought this, which is especially made for SSDs to put them in a um, normal PC. This is a size of 3.5 inch disc and you can put the 2.5 inch here. You see it has two trays. So I'll put both SSDs here. They are not very far away price wise, but Kingston is metal. It's a very nice build. You can clearly see the difference between them. Uh, I wanted to buy Kingston, same size, 120 gigs. But knowing SSDs have limited rights and because I will use them in a more destructive way, like use them as cash, they will wear out faster. I have them two different brands. This is not new. I have used it for some time already. So it has some rights on it and total bytes written according to its specifications on their website is 40 terabytes. It's quite low. And this A data has 70, 70 terabytes. So this one should hold longer than Kingston, even if it's, it looks very cheap. We'll see. I will use them in mirror. And if one goes down, the other will, will still be there until I replace it. For log volume, the recommendation is to be half of the RAM. On this small VM, I have only 3 GB of RAM. I will have one log device in mirror, 5 GB, 5 GB, and two cache, 50 here and 50 here, so 100 GB in total. This will mean the rest will be there just as spare blocks. We'll see how long they will resist like this. So 
do expect another video later on I'm not sure exactly when they will break down but I will get back with a different video most probably it's ugly but this way is better there is airflow so um, I will use them like this okay let's see this is the IC box I presented last year. This is one of my Mac Minis. And this is an extra cooling. I have a video also with these ones. I presented them so you can, if you are interested, you can uh, look them up. Okay, for now, I will leave it like this. So, I have both discs attached to my VM. This is the Kingston, this is a data. Let me prepare them. CF disk, SDC. Like I said, I will create a partition, a small partition, five giga. And another one as 50 giga. The rest of 56 giga, I will leave it like this. This one type uh, Apple ZFS. I don't know. This is the closest one type. It's very good to, to add the type because when I will show you. F disk minus L FSDC. When you do a disk on it, you can see what is the purpose of the, this disk. LS is crazy. So the second one slash dev slash SDD, as you can see, a data SU650, CF disk dev SDD. I will do exactly the same. One five giga partition and another one five giga. Okay, right. Quit. F disk minus L. Here we have the, I've started already uh, Z pool IS type minus V and also IS type minus H to see the usage of the disks. But um, in my concern at this moment is the is this you can see i have raid z1 configured with four disks at the end of this video i will present you difference between zfs pool with log and with cache and without log and cache and you will see the difference uh, fd minus l slash dev slash sdc this is our kingston and this is our a data both have two partitions, one 5 giga and another one 50 giga. The 5 giga one will be used as log and the 50 giga ones will be used as cache. Cache I cannot mirror, but log I can. So the pool add data log mirror slash dev slash dc1 slash dev slash sdd1 you will see here, it will appear. You see, it started to be used. I already have 11 megs in mirror. Let's add now cache, uh, SDD2, SDC2 and SDD2. Like I said before, I cannot do mirror with cache, so I will have two separate cache, one 50 and another 50, which in total will be 100 gig, giga and it should be enough for this pool. So once again here, when you look here, you will see cache appearing. And again, as soon as I added, it started to be populated. 
ZFS pool information from the memory will go to cache and log also will be used as a buffer. This is our RAID Z1. These are the normal disks, Iron Wolf 4 disks, which are part of the RAID Z1. Logs, which is mirror, and it has two partitions. So this means if this one goes down, the other will take over and reverse. And we have also cache, which consists of two partitions. The other partition that I've created on these two SSDs, uh, 50 giga each. These are not in mirror, but it doesn't matter if one of them will go down. The cache will not be, will simply not be used. Perfect. Okay, so I will stop here. I will leave, like I said, some different scenarios of how uh, the system is utilized with and without cache and log. As I said, I will come back when one of these disks, these SSDs will break down because it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. This is how disks are utilized continuously when there is no log. This one has ESXi data store, so that's why it's not so much used but these ones are part of the RAID and as you can see they are used continuously. As soon as you add the mirror, the log device which resides on the SSD, you see 1, 2, 3 and 5, they are not used continuously and this is one of the very important things that you do when you add a log device. I hope you found this useful. Please let me know if you have questions. Do not hesitate in the comments and see you in the next one. Bye.